everyone. In this video, I'm going to swatch for you Elf's brand new lipsticks. The line is called the O Face Satin Lipstick. They say because of the face you make when you apply lipstick, we all know it's part of the marketing and the innuendos that that name uh, evokes in people's mind. But in any case, this is a range of a new formula of lipsticks. There are 10 total shades. I will swatch and review all 10 of these shades for you, including applying them to my lips so you can kind of get an idea of what they look like, at least against my skin tone. As always, I'll put the information on where you can find these in the description box below. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel and also going over on Instagram and following over there. If you missed the latest video, make sure you go check it out. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner so you can see it if you haven't already. So these are currently available on Elf's website. You can also purchase them through Target and Amazon and I assume anywhere else Elf is sold. They retail for $9 each, which I don't care how much Elf has improved. I feel like is a kind of ridiculous price for an e.l.f. lipstick, given that this brand started out as $1 all the products and then eventually $2 and then maybe a little bit more for more complicated, complex, high quality products. But $9 is more than a lot of great lipsticks at the drugstore. So uh, we'll see <laughs> if the quality of these is so extraordinary that you would want to pay $9 for each of them, but I'm already going into this a little bit skeptical. In terms of the claims, Elf says this is a satin finish lipstick that delivers all the rich color you're craving in a comfortable formula that lasts. So comfortable, long wearing, richly pigmented satin finish, a nourishing formula with marula oil, squalene, and jojoba esters. There's a 5% squalene in the ingredients. As with all e.l.f. products, these are cruelty-free and vegan. And I do see uh, perfume or fragrance added into the product. That's pretty typical, unfortunately, with lip products. Um, not as concerned as with like a skincare product that you'd wipe all over your skin and have on there all day, but it is in there. So interesting thing about the packaging, these are in rubberized matte tubes, uh, very reminiscent of like a lot of NARS tubes if you're familiar with their lipsticks. So matte rubberized packaging, which is quite elegant and elevated from Elf's you know, original line. Still don't think that $9 is necessary for this, but they're also magnetized enclosure. So that is why you can't lay them all flat next to each other in a straight line like I normally do in videos because the magnets um, are preventing them from doing so. So you've got that twist out bullet with e.l.f. embossed on the side. You're going to get 0.13 ounces or 3.8 grams. First shade up is going to be Standing Ovation. This color is described as a peachy, yellow brown shade. Next up is Dirty Talk. Once again, in line with the innuendo name of the product. This one is described as a beige pink. Next up is Drive. And this is a rose brown. Next up is Effortless. This is a dusty mauve. This next shade is No Regrets. And this is a blue red, blue based red. So what else says? I don't know if I would have described this. Maybe. Next we have Vocal. 
described as a terracotta rose. Next is Shameless. This is a pink plum. This next shade is Hustle. This is described as a golden brown. Next is No Doubt. This is described as a pink brown. And the last shade is Own It. Which is described as a burnt deep red. Okay, so there are the 10 shades swatched. Immediately on first impression, they are very opaque. They got strong color to them. I don't necessarily think I needed to swatch twice the way I did with all the colors, um, but nice pigmentation on these. And as you can see, there is a satin finish, not glossy, but not completely matte. And they glided over the skin really nicely. And then let's go ahead and do a swipe test. So they're not gonna dry down. We can see that pretty clearly there. And let's also do a makeup wipe test. Let's see what kind of staining we get. So you'll get um, probably some staining with these brighter shades. So I will say this is a beautiful formulation. I have basically no criticisms of the colors. They go on pigmented and opaque and smooth. They are vibrant in pigmentation. The formula feels lovely on the lips. It is not drying, even though you get that more satin matte finish. They don't have any sort of pruning on the lips or tightness on the lips. So it feels nice and they look beautiful. The packaging also has been elevated. So I absolutely understand e.l.f. increasing their price points. I just feel like doubling the price or more, depending on what other products you compare these to, is a kind of a shock to the the eyes of a uh, long time elf purchaser so do with that what you will you know the price in comparison certainly to high-end lipsticks is a fraction of the price still and i do think the formulation can compete with a lot of high-end lipsticks on the market so in that sense you may think well, yeah i'm totally willing to pay just nine dollars for something that looks and feels and functions like some of my more high-end lipsticks Conversely, if you are a typical e.l.f. buyer and your budget is more in the drugstore range, then this price point is pretty out there. Um, so I'm kind of of two minds on that front. But if you're purely looking at the quality, I think these are great quality, lovely colors, lovely pigmentation, lovely formula. So those are my thoughts. Let me know in the comment section what shade or shades you liked the most out of the range and any other thoughts or questions you have. I hope this video was helpful to you. And as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you in the next videos.